Good afternoon, everyone. This is the doctor. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. We got lots of news, very exciting stuff going on today. And we're going to kind of give you guys the TLDR, the rundown on what you should be farming, what you should be looking at, things you should be thinking about, and of course, what you should be getting ready for for Final Fantasy Tactics 2 next week. Now, the first thing going on today is, of course, we had all the notices. Maintenance was complete. You did get 200 Vizior and 3 Medium Potions for your compensation. Of course, Uldoa and Ravis came out as well. Um, some important things to note, the other featured units this week are going to be Stern and Venera. And then we also have down here the UR Step Up 10 Time Summon. Uh, if you are someone who regularly frequents these types of polls, I think this is a really good one for your value. You're guaranteed a UR in each one. You get Rainbow Fragments of Thought, and you're guaranteed a Wind UR unit, which most Wind UR units are actually pretty good. So if you guys are Whale out there, this is definitely something I would recommend pulling on. The five times 10 step up summon, I would not recommend pulling on. Make sure you kind of just give that one a wide berth. And then of course there's the guaranteed normal UR pull and all of that. Uh, now there is a new shop and it is going to be the huge version upgrade celebration. Um, it's going to be one of the, uh, it's going to be basically your free skip tickets for the week. Um, and we'll go ahead and we'll go through the bundles on there because there are a couple of them that are worth it. Uh, there are also some new passes that came out and uh, we'll go over the passes for all of you guys there. Basically, uh, they cost about $8. They last for seven days. You get plus 10 total hard quests and then you get plus three attempts for the following quest. So that's going to be EXP, uh, Guild Chamber, Growth Egg Chamber or Chamber and Pot Chamber. Uh, the plus 10 hard quests, I don't believe you can repeat them on the same unit, but I also haven't experimented with it yet. So you're definitely going to want to keep in mind that if you're getting this, you're probably getting it to max out maybe some MR units, or maybe there's just another UR unit that you want to make sure to farm as well. So keep that in mind. There's also a unit training pass, which is going to give you plus 100% JP, and it's going to give your acquired Esper Resonance at quest results plus 100% gonna be very good. And then the equipment training pass, so it's gonna make a equipment reset possible once per day, and then it's gonna increase equipment growth success rate up. So if you have a whole bunch of gear that you've just been unable to max out, this is gonna be a great opportunity to buy this and kind of max out all of your gear at once. So definitely worth it if you guys are out there struggling right now. Of course, purchase bonus is gonna be old Doa shards for the week. Now the Ochu challenge, I actually think the Ochu challenge is not going to be worth it for farming this week. Basically, all you can get from it are zoo beaks and uh, blissful hearts. Um, I think most people are going to be farming the Rundall event. So let's just hop in here and talk about what events you're gonna wanna farm. You come here on the Ochu, you'll notice um, what you're getting is mostly just rings, uh, jeweled rings, zoo beak, and blissful hearts. There's not much in here. You're not really gonna need those accessory books. It's not gonna be very high need, high desire. What you're really gonna wanna farm is gonna be the Rundall EX quest. And the reason you're gonna wanna farm this is because it's gonna give you Black Spirit Sand, which is very good. It's also gonna give you Ogre Bristles. So Ogre Bristles, of course, gonna be very important for, I believe, Sage's Hat as well. So you're gonna wanna make sure you get those. And then, of course, you will get the Threat to the West Rundall medals as well. And let's just hop into the multi real quick and uh, just to verify um, which ones drop the uh, eggs and such for you guys as well, because I think that's also an important factor when you're considering which ones to multi. So looking at the brutal difficulty Ochu, you notice you're getting no eggs from that. Let's take a look at Rundal, see if you can get eggs or seals or anything. Doesn't look like you can get eggs or seals from Rundal as well. So unless you actually need the materials the best farm for the week i think will actually be the uh secret armor or the uh sword great sword axe farm event uh keep in mind also the agrius comes out next week and so does delita so you are going to need sword books to upgrade any type of sword weapon that you're going to need for agrius of course the eggs and the seals here are very important so i think the best farm this week is probably going to be the secret book rewards quest or if you need the materials or you need the Razzle Gethi, the uh, Rundall EX quest is going to be the best. Ochu, 
just complete it, just finish it off and uh, bust it out, so to say. Uh, now, of course, there were some changes to Chocobo Expedition, as you'll see here. Uh, you'll notice it calls out the level as well right now. And of course, the ability on off feature also came. So we're gonna go and do something very important right now. We're just gonna hop in and uh, go find Mont here. And there's a couple ways to access it. You can go to the abilities menu. And I believe you can long click. Let's see if you can long click here. Nope. Someone was saying you could long click on that screen. Not sure which one it is, but I'm gonna go to ability set. And then you long click on this and then this pops it up. And then you have a couple different settings in here. Uh, you can see you can turn it off for different missions or turn abilities off for different missions or you can just turn stone throw off like that and just like that your mont is never going to stone throw again and i hope in all of your guys's hearts you're feeling that you're happy you're enjoying that because i think just a little bit somewhere across the world right now people are just so happy so that's how you do it. If you do want to adjust one of the sub jobs, you just long click on the sub job. Um, I think you can do it from here as well. Yep, you just go to advanced settings. Keep in mind too, you can turn off different ones for quests, multi, dual, guild battle, porcelain tower. So of course you're gonna have a lot of options for your abilities there. And there was a couple more things I wanted to show everyone. Uh, we also got new milestones. So if you do have a lot of units, you go into our milestones right now into training. We do actually have uh, make more friends milestones. So if you're someone like me who has a lot of units, you pretty much have a thousand rank EXP and 400 Vizior. Just kind of chill in there, which is pretty cool. You can see as well that they did come out with uh, the Threat to the West Rundall events. But, you know, they didn't reset them. And the shops for the Rundall event didn't reset as well. So if you already bought the Rainbow Stone, if you already bought the Rainbow Vision Fragment, the only reason to run the Rundle events is going to be for the materials. The Ochu Challenge, though, does drop some really good milestone. Like, look at that stuff. You get at least two Rainbow Vision Spheres, a whole bunch of Vizior, three Rainbow Vision Spheres. I mean, you're going to get a lot of good stuff in there. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and hop in the shop and we'll look at the uh, big, what's it called? Oh my god. The, uh... <laughs> oh my gosh, why is it not in here? Did I go to the wrong place? I went to the wrong place. Of course I went to the wrong place. Pull up the shop here. Let's take in its sweet time right now. Uh, here we go. So the universal version, you do have a 300 paid Vizior rare 10 times summon ticket, which you want to buy right away. 100% worth it, even if on my rare summon ticket I got all blues. And then of course the Rainbow Awakening pack here, very good. 300 paid Vizior for three Rainbow Vision Spheres and one Rainbow Fragment of Thought. That is a 2,000 Vizior value right there. So buying this for 300 paid Vizior is incredibly good. I would not recommend any of the other packs here. Uh, I think you could make an argument potentially for the Windful Awakening pack. Since you can buy five of them, it's only 1,000 paid Vizior. And it essentially gives you a 3,000 paid Vizior value. So I think... Yes, this is probably actually really good if you do buy all of them, and it would be worth it. Um, in terms of the Oldoa shards, we actually have a lot of Oldoa shards just chilling here. So not only do we have the 120 Oldoa shards right here, we also get an additional 120 Oldoa shards from the Oldoa training packs as well, which is 2,000 paid Vizior. So if you have paid Vizior, you are already at 240 Old Doa shards. Plus, the uh, we have the paid Vizior or the daily purchase, which is going to give us like 40, 40, something like that, 40 or 50, whatever it is, more shards. Plus, you have the spend Vizior bonus. I mean, all around, Old Doa is going to be one of the fastest units to MLB in the game. Uh, make sure you check it out because Old Doa is going to be everywhere here soon. And it's just going to be one of those situations where we're probably going to see Old Doa's TMR faster than what we would normally see in the game. Now, of course, if you pop up here on the Purchase Vizior button, this is where the Royal Passes are going to be. Uh, personally, there is a little bit of controversy around these. I think there's a lot of people who are upset about them or think they're not worth it. Um, personally, these came out in JP. I think they're situational and could be really great 
for example, let's say you're wailing out on a unit and you're free to play or you're a minnow and you just want that like feeling of having like this incredible unit one time. You could buy the unit training pass for eight bucks, get double the JP, double the EXP or whatever it is, um, get the enhanced residence. That's fine. That's going to be great. So, I mean, I think there's a lot of people out there who are kind of knocking this, but we also have to recognize that we're also getting an innate plus 100% JP for banner-based units when the Final Fantasy Tactics 2 event comes out, which is another benefit to free-to-play players regarding JP acquisition. So I'm kind of like, yeah, it's here. I'm not really incentivized to purchase because again, these things aren't something I direly need. Could I possibly have a need for them in the future? Sure. Uh, would I get them in the future? Yeah, I definitely could. I would definitely think about it, but it's not something I have to get right away. So that's kind of the perspective that I'm coming at with these passes. And uh, I would encourage you guys all to not like raise your pitchforks and go crazy because apparently in my chat, people were telling me that's what's happening right now. And I think that's just a little bit dramatic right now. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching my video. If you are going to buy Vizior, please use my affiliate link at dig.gs slash offer or dig.gs slash coins. It's one of the best ways to support me without actually giving me money directly. Make sure you come to our uh, Discord, dig.gs slash Discord. We have a great community. Love to have you hang out. And we're looking forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.